Some people call them spells. Some people call them praying. Um, I've been doing a lot of that. Just witchier things because I do feel like right now we might have to get connected to something a little greater because this is not an accident, How th this thing that is happening, right? We fucked up somehow. Either Mother Earth or somebody's like, yo, what are you doing? Change, slow down. Hi everyone, I am Manuel Bencourt, the film and TV editor over at Remescla, and we're going to chat today with Tania Saracho, uh, a playwright, TV writer, and showrunner and creator of Vida, which is coming back for season three uh, next month. You know, I want to chat today a little bit about how all of us are dealing in our own little ways with what is happening um, in the world, to put it lightly. Um, so I'm curious, you know, how has your day-to-day -day life changed uh now that we're at home now that we're sequestered or are you self-isolating yes i'm self-isolated me and my two cats that's who's here in this house um i did i i realized when we did this how little of a routine i had because so, you know stuff changes like um for the past four years um three and a half years i've had like different segments of, of production the writing of it right the production of it the editing of it. So I stuff schedules change, you know, so I never cooked. I never had anything, a rhythm to it. I have such a rhythm. I wake up, I make tea myself. Like, like usually I, I'm, you know, you at work, somebody grabs me tea or something, but like I cook all my meals, which I know it's, it sounds ridiculous, but I hardly ever home to do that. And then I don't cook. And I've it's mostly meal kits, but I've been cooking and it's been amazing just the time by myself, you know, also, and I don't know if this is part of the other questions, but um, this coincided with the announcement that Vida, um, it's the final season of Vida. And I, of course I've known for a while, but because I was working till basically till Friday, that's when I delivered Vida um the last the, so it's like done and then this thing started and I, I've had so much time to be by myself with my own thoughts and then yesterday when the news came out I had a little meltdown like that I haven't had because I've been you know being alone with your own thoughts is like could be a little <laughs> dangerous so I did take a walk I did take a walk because it was um it hit me harder than it's hit me because I've known about it you know but it hit me yesterday in my solitude. It hit me. It just hit me. Here, let me rub my my yes. copper. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Um, so since you are isolated and you just have mm -hmm. two cats, uh, what helps you sort of stay um, sane? Um, so I, these are new developments. Now, I always meditated for 10 minutes, right? You know, but now the, these are luxurious meditations. And I, I do guided stuff, um, but then I, I, I went back to some uh, uh, old color stuff I used to do in med. Basically, I'm luxuriating in meditation, which is, and I do have to say this, this is all a luxury because um, people who are able to be at home right now and not working on the front lines or, you know, because um, they don't have to be out there. We, we're, I feel like very privileged. I had to say that. So when I talk about meditation, it's, it's, it's still steeped in privilege because gracias a Dios que puedo. Está en mi casita meditating, you know? That was real pocho. I, I'm, I'm repping the pocho -ness. But also, and this is this is when I become snow brown. I've been feeding, <laughs> feeding the critters in my yard way more and more. And now a chipmunk's come. I've never seen this chipmunk. So, like, I just replanted stuff. I rep When? In que mundo would I be having to... Oh, don't see, this are my Corona nails that are not going to get done for months. So just this is Corona manicure, Corona money. Um, so I've been doing shit that I never thought that I would get to do. Um, like replanting, I've repotted. But I remember watching a video quickly once of AOC repot repotting once. And I literally used the, <laughs> all the stuff that she said, except with a fork, because I don't mm. have a, una pala. So I was like with a fork, but I softened it. Anyway. I'm like snow brown over here. Um, so I've been doing things like that, like the kind of stuff that they tell you to do. Um, 
that I never, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sort of still things. Um, and speaking of that, you know, I think for, for creatives, this can be both the terrifying, but also sort of a blessing in disguise since we are, since we get to be sort of in our, in our heads. So I was curious to, to hear a little bit about, um, you know, how, how have you been dealing with that? Is it a matter of like, now you have more time or is it like the anxiety doesn't let you work or is it a mixture of the two? So on Monday, I was like, oh, I'm going to write so many things. I'm going to write a movie. I'm going to write a, 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 three pilots. And all my, I have on a thread with my Vida writers, you know, and we're all planning the same. I'm going to do genre stuff. I'm going to, and then I think the reality of what we're living set in and none of us have really started to do that we've mostly been freaking out and sending over, oh my God, now we have to donate blood. No, no, you know, like that, all those kinds of things. So I don't, I, Monday it was like full of possibilities. Then I decided yesterday when I had my, you know, uh, little anxiety, my patatus que me dio, um, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to let the thoughts come when they come. And because esto va para largo, like we are going to be here for a little while, then I'm going to let it come when it comes. There's stuff to be done. But right now, it's such a weird transition into this reality that we all have to make because mentally we have to make it more than physically. Yes, I mean, because that's what gets cabin fever, right? You know, I, there were all these plans and then now I'm just going to, we're going to see. But I, I do hope that a lot of creative things happen. I thought of a, um, a thing, so I'm trying to get writers to see if they want to collaborate on a thing. I said, what if everybody writes a two minute monologue? This was me Monday. I was like, two minute monologues and then we produce them in a small theater like I used to do in Chicago, you know? Produce these two minute monologues. So, and then, so people are like, yeah, yeah, but I don't know if they're taking me seriously, but we could also do a podcast for it. Like basically, I want to do the like, the quarantine monologues, whatever. Well, I'll think of a good name, <laughs> but like <laughs> two minute monologues from all these writers, I think that would be interesting. So that was Monday though. I was like fertile with, and then now I'm like, I'm watching squirrels. Vieja loca, soy una vieja loca. But I think that that gets into sort of the, the, I think a lot of us are dealing with, with this. It's like, how do we, how do we balance it this, you know, like, you know, Shakespeare, when it was the plague, he wrote, you know, King Lear and otherwise being like, you have all this time to watch Netflix now. Um, and I think putting yourself first and, you know, putting yourself in your mental health and your physical health, um, you know, I think that that should be of paramount importance to all of us. So, you know, you, you mentioned meditating. So what are other things that you've been doing, other acts sort of self-care that, that work for you or that you found um, sort of have helped you cope? Um. Let's see if you can see my altar up there, June, and she's got her sunflowers. I um, I've just been making a lot of offerings. Um, I've been praying. It's different than meditating, you know. Some people call them spells. Some people call them praying. Um, I've been doing a lot of that. Just witchier things because I do feel like right now we might have to get connected to something a little greater because this is not an accident how th this thing that is happening right we fucked up somehow either mother earth or somebody's like yo what are you doing change slow down i mean venice has dolphins now like in venice there are dolphins in venice i mean i think that's a metaphor right what grounds you in times like these um um i <sighs> I won't get all metaphysical because I do go and put my feet in the grass, actually. They say that's actually a grounding. That's like first root chakra, but also like, you know, when you're having an anxiety attack, they said name five things, see what you can touch, feel. There's a whole thing to get you back from an anxiety attack. And to me, putting my feet in the grass, it, re it really helps. But so that's being, that's a literal <laughs> answer to that. But you know what has been grounding me and uh, pulling me from the ledge a little bit? Um, my friendships especially the older ones that I you know because I don't know if you did this you did you check in with all your people and then the second tier of the people like the people that you love and this is what I mean by second tier those people you adore but because you don't this, would live in the same city or work with them something has happened that you haven't like contacted them but those people now we're like in constant contact and 
it really is grounding me. Like just being in contact, understanding how they're dealing with it, which is I think what this is gonna do, just be like, oh, those people are dealing with this way. And it's been, cause I think communication, usually communication makes me ah, crazy. Communication is the thing that um, I, I'm thirsty for right now. Cause I, you know, estoy solita. So it, um, it's been my circle, you know? Yeah, and it makes sense because it's sort of, it's leveled all the friendships. Like I can contact anyone in the same way. There's no one I'm privileging because I'm seeing them or because we're going to the movies together. Right, there's no movies together right now. <laughs> I, what's gonna happen with that? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, we talked a little bit earlier before we started um, recording about how we don't want to give advice because we don't want to make everyone sound like we're any kinds of experts. Okay. Um, but do you have uh, tips or what things work for you that you think creative people right now could help could help them hear um, about either being creative or sort of wanting to sort of stay um, you know grounded or stay sane or try to sort of take care of themselves right now? Uh, goals, but realistic ones. Like um, like I said on Monday, I was like. I'm going to do this, da, 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 da. and then it, I realized the rhythm of what this is. And so now it, it's work to have one goal and not giving myself a timeline, just get like, so I've, I've just gotten it done and then I got it done. Okay. And now the next thing. So goals, but um, not beating yourself up about the timeline because time is, <laughs> is very hazy right now. People are like, is it Wednesday? Is it Thursday? Um, it's very hazy right now. So, uh, but, but, but metas like goals to meet, I think are really important right now. Cause uh, it's, it's, um, yes, rhythm, like, like a rhythm to the day, you know, the breakfast and the getting up and the not sleeping all that, like I, it is important, but I think meeting metas, I think is super important just to have something to wake up for, you know, <laughs> but, but, but creative ones are can take like let's say you say okay today I'm 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 starting my pilot what does that mean that could start that could mean a lot of things or like you know what I mean because there's no unless you say today I'm doing 25 pages or something okay, who 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 does that but <laughs> I don't know but do you know what I'm saying so like one una meta that it, that you, that you don't necessarily put a timeline to but then when you meet it you um you go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. That's what I did the last couple of days, and it's worked for me so far. <laughs> Rather than the first, that when I was like, dig -a, dig -a, dig -a, dig -a, dig -a, dig it, you know. Um, and then obviously, I wanted to finish uh, talking a little bit about you know Vita's coming, and I'm also Vita Press is coming, right? Like you guys are going to be promoting the show, but maybe in the fantastic new digital only way. <laughs> <laughs> Neta, like this, like because we, we can't do you know, those things we do where we shake hands and do all the things, you know? I don't know. What are you, so the trailer just dropped um, sort of this week. Um, what are you most excited uh, for people to see? And, you know, given that it'll be its sort of final goodbye season, um, what are you, yeah, what are you most excited about when, once it's out in the world? Um, let's see if you can see. No, you can't. It's over there. It says... Uh, my mandate for the year was six masterpieces. I put six masterpieces for the six episodes. I was like, we just have to make these really strong, because the story, I mean, to get six episodes only to tell the story. And we're half, a, half an hour, but I do have to say that most episodes are um, 40 minutes or over. And one is 55, one is 45. So it's not, they're not really half an hour. <laughs> I, you know what, I, I commend stars because they like, let me tell like they fit the episode time um to whatever the story needed you know that's really that's really cool i am b like just beaming with pride about the season just because we get to do this queer cianera that is like the Im some of the imagery is going to be so epic um when was the last time you saw drag kings on television performing um it's not quite burlesque they're just per doing a performance you know just and of a of a song that I wrote, um, uh, uh, that we wrote, hold on, I don't know, we co-wrote um, uh, um, one of my writers, Taylor Orsi and T. Carlos Roberts, um, whom I did um, 
uh, House on Mango Street with. So like I paired with them for, for music. Um, and they cooked up this amazing song for it. I, I, I know I'm picking little things, but those are some things that are like, I'm super proud of. And then also the, the, the storylines, like where we go with them. It, it, uh, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a satisfying ending. Anyway, so this has been lovely as I knew it would be, um, which is why I sort of, I knew that reaching out to the Vita family would be, would be perfect for this. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay. Well, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah. The rest. <laughs> <laughs> and good luck with your, with your copper and with your cats and. <laughs> Cr copper crazy copper lady crazy cat <laughs> copper lady anyway all right guapo thank you so much no thank um, you me up right now so that's yeah. like a little, <laughs> little coffee date or something yeah perfect we'll have a great rest of the day sure. we'll talk soon bye